talking about um, my BBL. I get a lot of questions um, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, so I decided to just to make a um, Q&A video for you guys. So I asked you guys to ask me questions um, on IG and Facebook and TikTok. Usually I answer to you guys, but um, I know some people don't want to ask me because they think that I'm not going to say or something. So I just decided, you know, just ask me your guys' questions and I'll answer them. Um, on a YouTube video. So um, if you guys don't know what a BBL is, a BBL is a Brazilian butt lift, which is um, they lipo um, certain areas of your body and insert the fat into your hips and your butt. So um, if you're interested in watching this video, just keep on watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, let's get started. Okay, so the first question is, where did you have it done? So I got my, BB, my BBL done in Guadalajara, Jalisco, uh, Mexico. So um, yeah, let's see. How was the recovery? Um, the recovery was um, easy for me. Um, a lot of girls were saying that like the second or third day is the hardest. But to be honest, um, I didn't have no pain at all. Um, I think it's definitely worth it. So um yeah, that was my recovery. Super easy. Um, let's see. Pain level 1 to 10 after surgery. So um, I already said pain level. Everybody's pain tolerance is different. Um, my pain tolerance is um, very high, I guess you could say. Um, pain. I was up and walking like the next day. Um, we walked to the La Plaza around my mom's um, house, so um, pain level, I would say, was a one. Does your doctor speak English? Yes, my doctor does speak English. His assistants do too as well, so that's a plus. So for you guys that are um, scared to go to Mexico because you guys are afraid that the doctors won't speak English, they do. So a lot of you girls were also asking, how did I get a consultation? So I got a consultation with my doctor via email. So um, I got a hold of him and um, his assistant, Julia, um, messaged me and she, you know, she was very nice. And so I sent over my pictures to her and then she goes um, over them with the doctor and the doctor um, suggested what's the best option for you. And you could agree to it or you could disagree. Um, he recommended me to get a tummy tuck, but um, I did not want a tummy tuck at this time. So I, I mentioned it to my doctor that I did not want a tummy tuck, that I wanted um, more kids in the future. So I wanted just a lipo and BBL. And so he agreed and he told me what was the best option for me. Um, I did get um, Vaser, Vaser lipo, so um, that helps with the tightening of your skin. The next question is, is he certified? Yes, he is certified. He is a certified plastic surgeon. He is also certified here in the United States. So if he wanted to, he could um, do his surgeries here, but he chooses to um, work in Mexico. Um, how much is the deposit? So um, deposits for my doctor is 10% of um, your quote. So whatever you get quoted, um, you have to um, set him a deposit of 10%. Um, did you stay at a recovery home? Um, no, I did not stay at a recovery home. My mom has a house in Guadalajara. Well, not Guadalajara, but it's close to Guadalajara. So we stayed with my mom and uh, my grandparents. Okay, um, the next question was, when did you sit on your butt? So uh, my doctor 
didn't really tell me when I could sit on my butt, but he told me that it's just like a myth that people um, like to say that you're not supposed to sit on your butt. Um, actually, the day, like um, right out of surgery, I was laying on my butt, and um, on the drive home, I was sitting on my butt. But um, I bought my booty pillow on Amazon. This is the booty pillow that I bought, and it worked great for me. Um, I used this for two months though, so even though he said it's not recommended, this is what I used just because I felt like it was the best um, like um, protection for my butt just because I didn't want to squeeze my butt and everything. So this is what I used. Okay. Next question is, mm, how long do you have to wait before coming back to the States? So my doctor recommends you stay a total of uh, two weeks, two weeks to be um, able to travel back into the United States. Okay, next question is, were you scared? Um, I was, I was scared for, um, I've been wanting to do this for a while now, I would say probably like five years, and I was scared because of the things that, like the complications that you could have. And, um... I finally decided, you know what, I'm just getting older, might as well just get it over with. So, um, yeah. And um, next question is, are the scars big? Um, the scars are not big um, compared to like a tummy tuck. Tummy tuck goes across your stomach. So um, the lipo, they're just holes. So I have a total of, if you want to, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like eleven holes, and they're really tiny. Um, I don't know. I could show you guys, but like I have um one here to like light bulb everything in here. Um, the back. I don't know if you guys could see some back here, like on my arms right here. So yeah, they're very tiny, and it, it all depends on how you scar. Um, but they get lighter. They get lighter with time, and I am using a cream to get them my end. Okay, next question. Let's see. How much was it? Okay, so um, I get asked a lot about the price. And um, to be honest, I don't want to be saying prices because it all depends on you, on your body. So um, I have told people the price that I've paid and they have came back to me like, oh, your doctor is um, charging me more than what he charged you. So um, I'm like, I, I, I don't know what to say. So I'm like, you know, it, probably, it just depends on how much fat you have and how much is being sucked out and transferred back in you or what you need. So um, I'm not going to talk about the prices just because, you know, I don't want people saying you know, um, I'm getting charged more than what you did. So, um, next question is, what and what did you get done? Okay, so my quote and what I had messaged the doctor was I wanted just the lipo and BBL, which is the lipo of, um, I wanted lipo 360. So lipo 360 is um, lipo of your whole body and transferred to your butt. So, um, when I got there, that's what I was expecting to get done, my lipo and then just my butt. But when I talked to the doctor the day of surgery, he um, mentioned that he was going to do um, my arms, my upper back, my lower back, my sides, my stomach, upper and lower. Um, he said that he was going to do in between the thighs. And I told them that I did not want in between my thighs because I was scared to have very skinny legs because I already have like skinny legs so I didn't want to be a super skinny leg and then with a big ant butt so um he told me he was just gonna like well a little bit just a little bit to proportion my body so I was okay with that and then he also said he was gonna do the pubic lipo so he also did that on me and then after um having like the talk with my doctor he told me he was gonna he, he asked me if it was okay um, to gift me something and I was like, um, yeah, sure. So he told me he was um, going to do my double chin, which I was like very excited for because I did have like a little big, um, well, big double chin. And um, so he circled this area 
but then when I woke up from surgery I actually had cotton in my mouth and I did ask the nurse that was there with me why do I have cotton in my mouth and she said because the doctor did a bichotomia with which a bichotomia is um I don't know if I'm saying it right in Spanish but it's a vocal fat removal and what the vocal fat removal is is um the little tissue of fat that you have in your cheeks he took that out so that's what he did to me and he didn't charge me for the um for the double chin and the lipo of the chin and the vocal fat he did not charge me for that he told me he was gonna give that to me so that's what I got done and then the next question is um how did you use the restroom okay so um the day that you get released from um, the hospital you do get put in your faja and the faja has an opening in your uh, crotch area so um when i was doing my research a lot of the girls were saying oh um it's best to use this let me show you guys this was like the best thing to use for when you use the restroom so you wouldn't like sit on your butt and it was like so hard to take off your faja and put it back on so i bought it on amazon this little funnel tunnel thingy and to be honest, I didn't use this. It, this was just like a waste of money. So um, what was the best option for me was just to um, use the restroom backwards. I don't know if that makes sense. But I would use the restroom backwards and just the opening on my faja would just spread it so nothing would get wet. And then I would just pee that way. Um, to go number two, um, to be honest, I would just say I would take off my faja and just sit on my butt. And um, that's how I would go number two. But to be honest, I, I wouldn't recommend using this. I think this is like a waste of money and a waste of time. I feel like it would just be easier just to sit down with your faja. You don't even have to take it off and just open the opening and just pee. That's what worked best for me. So that is what I would recommend. Okay, so um, next question is, um, did you pay in payments or in full? Okay, so... Um, I paid in full um, I don't think my doctor takes any payments I'm not sure that's not something I asked them because um, being in Mexico surgery already is cheaper than what it is here in the United States so um, I'm not sure about that um, you could email him and ask him but I paid in full okay um, last question is why not a doctor here in California Okay, so um, why not a doctor here in California? Um, I feel like the doctors here um, don't really give you like a good um, figure. I don't know. Um, I feel like here they kind of leave you still like kind of squarish looking. That's me. That's my opinion. So I wanted to go with a doctor that really gave me those curves. And um, here in California, they actually do have a limit of what they're limited to take out of fat and put back in. In Mexico, I believe their limit, or I don't think they have a limit. So that's why I chose to go to Mexico. Also, the price. I mean, can be Mexico price on plastic surgery. Okay, so that would be it on my questions. This um this i finished all the q and a questions that you guys had for me so i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys are interested in any more surgery questions just go ahead and um comment down below and i'll be glad to answer them i could probably make a second video regarding any questions that you guys have um don't forget to subscribe to our channel um like the video and follow us on ig we'll leave the um handles down below so you guys could go ahead and follow us and um i think we're going to be doing our hundred dollar giveaway now what's up you guys okay so we're getting ready to do the hundred dollar giveaway and these are the people that have commented on our last video so you guys are the ones that are um entered to um for our hundred dollar giveaway and uh, I know we're late on this, but uh, we're going to do this right now. And also, we're going to do it where we're almost to 200. So if we go to 200, 
another one hundred dollar giveaway we're gonna do it. We're gonna try to do it where we do it every single time we get another another hundred, another hundred, then there you go, another hundred giveaway and another hundred giveaway. So we're gonna keep doing that. So um we need about like twenty something more people for two hundred um or two hundred subscribers. So once we get to two hundred subscribers, hey tell your friends and family to subscribe that way we can give yep. another giveaway. But don't forget to comment down on our video so you guys can be entered because we have about hundred and eighty something um subscribers and this is Only it that much because we can't tell who has subscribed to um we can't tell from our subscribers um we can't go based off the subscribers because some people are on private so this is the only way to tell who is subscribed or who has been commenting on our videos yeah but other than that we'll find a different way to do it uh my thing is to at least have somebody dm us where it shows that they're subscribed and then they leave a comment. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to tell when you are subscribed. But for this one, we're gonna do it this way as what you guys commented. Okay, so, so as you guys can see, it's empty, okay? Okay, it's empty. Let's see. Okay. Let's do it this way. No Not this one, this is a blank one. And I am using my shears, okay? Don't come for me for that. <laughs> Couldn't find some scissors. Am I oh, picking or yeah, you? you? Me? Okay, let's see. Let's see who's the lucky $100 giveaway winner. Okay, let's see. Ah! Candy. There you go, you're the winner. DM me. DM her. DM me so we can send you your $100, okay? And congratulations. Thank you for subscribing. Peace. Ooh, why always me? Ooh, oh, like